soldering irons, IMAX B6 chargers, uh, solder, EMS cell holders, these other types of cell holders. Okay, light bulbs, the light sockets. I'm gonna send one of these to charge the uh, hoverboard packs. Captain tape, send captain tape, they're gonna need this. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a lot of this shrink, shrink tape thing. This little meter should be useful. Hey guys, this is Javier from Puerto Rico and this is a video update that Diego asked me to do for you guys. And I hope that gives you an idea of what we need. Our charge controller is actually, this one is 20 amps, uh, but I got three of these, so it might be able to help someone. I got a multimeter. I got two of these. One of them is this one, and this one's the only one I, I'm able to measure amps. And yesterday I arrived, the only one that I managed that I can actually buy, I, I, I ran out of money, so. But this one, and now I can actually charge and discharge safely the batteries that I do have on my hand. These are the only tools that we do have when it comes to measuring, charging, and charging and discharging. So this is the only package that I actually have from someone that actually saw a video. This one comes from Stephen Cohen from Florida, Puerto, uh, United States. Steven, thank you so much. We're gonna do an unboxing, a unboxing video for this. It's gonna be a fun one to open, but this is the only package that I got. So we haven't got anything else right now. So out of the 40,000 plus videos, uh, views that video got, at least we got one package and I'm grateful for that one. So Steven, thank you. I do know there are people that actually managed to make one uh pack or power pack from the first video and he called me and he's actually trying to make 10 out of the second video the one that uses the the, the really big black uh ups so he is actually from california i forgot, I forgot his name but i do know there's people trying to get to us and help so but this is the only one that actually arrived so thank you steven um I will show everybody what, it, what we have in here later on. We managed to get a donation from one recycler. They gave us roughly 300 pounds of dead uh, laptop batteries. And this is what I have managed to do. We got this baby. I would say 160 or 170 batteries. We got this baby. This one right here. I'm working on this one. These batteries are being tested just with a multimeter. So now that we have the, the B, B6 IMAX, now I might be able to test them. Fuse wire. This is the only one I managed to get. I also have one of these, but this is going to help a lot to test the medical devices because some people do ask them about the specs of the, the machine, they don't know. So this is how we're gonna test them. We have wire, and if I don't have this at hand, we could buy them. When it comes to connections or connectors like female and male, we can buy them also. There's a few stores that still have those. And we have clippers, we got uh, strippers to strip up the, the, not stripper like dancers, you know, strippers to strip out the wires. The main issue is battery. There's no batteries around Puerto Rico, like nothing. No lead acid, no deep cycle, no anything, no marines, no anything. The only batteries that are actually might be able to find are for the cars and we know that's not gonna work that good. Like I said, I have a 3D printer, so I got three of them. We are going to start printing the base, the, the grid to actually put on the batteries and yeah, we are lacking a bunch of stuff. Like uh, we might get some solar charge controllers uh, from eBay probably or Amazon. Uh, over here, we're not gonna find them. And I need more, uh, I need a better way to charge, discharge the battery to test them. I only have one. I do know there's a guy that's gonna send some over. What we need right now. We need cases, we need probably uh, plugs to balance charge the battery. One of the problems that we do have in Puerto Rico, not everybody knows how to work with solar, right? And since we know the solar panels are really big, we might be able to help the, per the people by giving them a case that has the five volts connection using USB 
probably a 12 volt socket so they can plug a 400 watt uh, inverter and a way to actually charge the packet, the power pack, using the car. So we, they can um, plug it back to the 12 volts uh, on the car and probably leave it there while they're driving around the island because we have a bunch of cars over here. So that's a nice way to actually help them. And I was thinking to actually build two devices, two type of devices. One, for the people that actually has a medical device that could go from 500 to all the way to 1000 watts and one that could go from 200 to 500 watts and that one could be only to light up uh, 5 volts uh, light bulbs, LEDs and charge cell phones so that's the basic idea so that way we, can, we might be able to help again I want to say thank you to every single person that it's been calling me I got people from the Virgin Islands that are going to help I got people from Oklahoma they want to help there's people from California, LA, New York, Florida uh, I want to say thank you to all of you. Uh, God bless you. Your kindness is overwhelming. So I want to say thank you about that. Um, there's also a bunch of guys here in Puerto Rico that are volunteering, that are they're calling people, getting patients. Uh, we have roughly a list from 10 to 12 people that we do know they have issues either with cancer, they need uh, machines to get therapy. Uh, we haven't get out there that much because since we don't have materials and we don't have anything to show we don't want to have a really huge list of people that need help so what we did is we started to talk to the government agencies they know who needs actually help you know who needs actual help we started to call foundation and volunteer groups to actually tell us how many people they they have that they know they have issues so the rough number, the ballpark number is that around me, roughly 200 to 300 people are in really desperate need to get some uh, power on their houses. So they just have, uh, they could turn on a, a therapy machine from one to two hours or so. So yeah, thank you so much for everybody. I, I've been getting a lot of calls, uh, people asking for help, people willing to help. So thank you so much for that. Jehu, again, gracias por la ayuda, gracias a todo, que Dios les bendiga, pero necesitamos más, necesitamos más batería, necesitamos más equipo, necesitamos mucho más, así que lo que puedan hacer por nosotros, le vamos a dar las gracias, nuevamente que Dios les bendiga y Puerto Rico les agradece. Everything that we managed to make, that we don't give out, we're going to send them uh, deep inside the island or to another island that is in need. We know for sure that every single little island that's around us got hit really bad and we're going to help them also. So thank you so much. God bless you. Bye. All right, it's like two in the morning and I just finished packing up my shipment of stuff that I planted take to the island so to give you an idea this is about a thousand uh, individual 18650 cells um, a couple of UPS units and just just some materials that will help us build some solar generators while we are there I am going to go to Puerto Rico on the 29th from the 29th to the 5th we're gonna be there uh, this is kind of like my personal little stash of batteries extra batteries that I had I'm sending them there but what we're trying to do is get enough materials to the island to make about a hundred uh, solar generators to help those uh, in most need. We're sending whatever we can in there. So we need our, your help. Tom, our eBay seller has uh, said that he would supply us with batteries, enough batteries for a hundred units of these solar generators, right? And, and we have secured uh, the UPS units that we need for really cheap, like 30 bucks, right? The problem is the shipping. Shipping to the island is extremely expensive. To give you an idea, this is about $1,200 worth of shipping because you have to ship uh, via air, especially if you're shipping stuff that is like lithium batteries like this. It just costs a ton 
of money and we kind of are running out of time so we have to ship it to the air because that's usually what gets delivered anything that is ground or any lesser service that gets picked to be shipped in there basically comes back undelivered uh, at this point some most of the shippers are not doing anything other than two-day air and so that's why it's cost about two hundred dollars to ship this so we need your help um, whatever I'm gonna give you guys a link here whatever you purchase here these are units that will go to Puerto Rico and they're gonna be there on the 29th when uh, me and a team of people will go including my wife we're gonna go and we're gonna try to uh, you know teach people to build these machines there um, teach them about you know battery technology and then uh, we'll, once we build stuff we're gonna go and distribute them to those people that need the most so thank you for everything here's an address if you guys want to send uh, Javier this is our contact on the island he's uh, orchestrating organizing you know all the delivery of all this stuff that we're sending in so thank you for watching uh, we'll see you in the next video Bye.